an object from another star system is baffling astronomers. Not because it's so strange, but because its chemistry is a complete reversal of everything we know. This is 3 I Atlas. It's releasing nickel gas without iron, and its chemical output is accelerating far faster than our models predict. It's even on a precise ecliptic aligned path, a trajectory so improbable it could be a deliberate route. The upcoming Mars flyby gives us a second chance to solve a mystery. Is it an exotic natural object, or something else entirely? The interstellar object 3I Atlas shows nickel gas without iron gas in its spectrum, along with unusually strong carbon dioxide output and steeply rising cyanide emissions, a chemical pattern that does not match typical comet behavior. Observations from the Very Large Telescope revealed these unusual signatures as the object races through our solar system at 61 kilometers per second relative to the Sun. Right now, 3I Atlas sits about 2.56 astronomical units from the Sun, already inside Jupiter's orbit. It continues toward perihelion in late October 2025. Unlike most comets we observe, the way nickel and cyanide increase as it approaches the Sun rises much faster than simple ice sublimation models would predict. The spectroscopy data presents the first puzzle. When comets heat up near the Sun, they typically release both nickel and iron together if these metals are present. But three, I Atlas releases nickel gas lines while iron gas lines remain undetected. This selective release challenges our standard comet chemistry models. The carbon dioxide output adds another layer of complexity. Reports describe an unusually large amount of carbon dioxide coming from the object. Combined with the steep rise in cyanide detection, these volatiles paint a picture of something chemically distinct from the water-dominated sublimation we expect from typical comets. The object's trajectory brings it close to the ecliptic plane, the imaginary disk where most planets orbit. This path will carry it past Mars on October 3rd, 2025, setting up a rare observational opportunity. When it reaches perihelion later that month, Earth will be on the opposite side of the Sun, keeping us safely distant from this cosmic visitor. Several hypotheses attempt to explain these observations, though none are confirmed. Avi Loeb has suggested the gas signature might point to an engineered origin. This hypothesis proposes that if a spacecraft or machine had parts mainly of nickel but not iron, solar heating could release nickel without iron. Engineered materials or coatings could theoretically release nickel or cyanide under heat in ways not typical for comets. Another unconfirmed hypothesis suggests the object might be producing its own light. If the observed light is purely reflected sunlight, one estimate suggests a size larger than Manhattan Island. But this remains speculation without direct confirmation. The trajectory itself has drawn attention. Some researchers note that the precise ecliptic aligned path could be consistent with a planned route similar to Voyager spacecraft, possibly designed to blend in as a comet. This hypothesis remains unverified, but highlights how the object's path allows flyby geometry near multiple planets, much like our own interplanetary missions use for gravitational assists. The timing of 3I Atlas gives us advantages we lacked with our first interstellar visitor. In 2017, one eye Oumuamua showed unexplained acceleration and no visible tail, sparking widespread discussion about its unusual properties. Some in the scientific community treated Oumuamua as natural, while others argued the case was not settled before it left observational reach. That first encounter taught us a crucial lesson about monitoring unusual objects before they slip away. Oumuamua's mysteries remain unsolved because we spotted it too late. By the time scientists recognized its significance, the object was already heading out of the solar system, beyond the reach of our best telescopes. Now 3I Atlas presents a second chance to observe an interstellar visitor with unusual properties more thoroughly. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter stands ready with its high-rise camera to attempt imaging around the 3rd of October, 2025 Mars close approach. These observations could help assess whether the object produces its own light or reflects sunlight like a typical comet or asteroid. The direction of arrival adds an intriguing detail. The object comes from the direction of the Sagittarius constellation. This same general region of sky is associated with mysterious radio signals, including the famous WOW signal detected in 1977. While this correlation could be coincidental, 
it adds to the collection of unusual features surrounding this visitor. Other spacecraft might also contribute observations in late 2025 if geometry permits. NASA's Psyche mission and ES's JUICE probe could potentially observe the object, adding to our data collection. Multiple observation platforms would help verify the unusual chemical signatures and test competing hypotheses about the object's nature. The hypotheses about engineered origins connect to broader ideas in astrobiology and SETI research. The dark forest hypothesis, for example, suggests advanced civilizations might explore silently while hiding behind natural looking appearances. Under this hypothesis, an artificial probe might mimic a comet to avoid detection while gathering data about other star systems. Some researchers hypothesize that trajectory changes near perihelion could hint at an unnatural mechanism. If the object adjusts its path in ways that violate purely gravitational dynamics, such behavior would strongly suggest artificial control. However, no such changes have been observed yet, and this remains purely hypothetical. The chemical anomalies remain the most concrete puzzle. The steep rise in both nickel and cyanide as the object approaches the sun does not fit our models of how typical comet ice is warm and sublimate. Standard comets show more gradual increases in volatile release as solar heating intensifies. The pattern we observe with 3i Atlas suggests either an unusual natural composition or something else entirely. The carbon dioxide abundance further complicates the picture. While many comets contain carbon dioxide, the reported amounts from 3i Atlas exceed typical levels. Combined with the missing iron and the unusual volatile behavior, these observations challenge us to expand our understanding of what interstellar objects might be. The Mars flyby in October 2025 represents our best chance for detailed observation. The high-rise camera on Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter can capture high-resolution images that might reveal surface features, determine the object's size more accurately, and test whether it emits light or merely reflects sunlight. These observations could help eliminate some hypotheses while strengthening others. If 3i Atlas is natural, it would still be scientifically valuable as our second confirmed interstellar visitor. The unusual chemistry might reflect formation conditions in another star system, offering insights into planetary formation processes beyond our solar neighborhood. Different stellar environments could produce comets with exotic compositions we have never encountered. But if observations reveal features that cannot be explained by natural processes, we would face profound implications. The hypothesis of engineered origins, while unconfirmed, reminds us to keep our observations thorough and our interpretations careful. Science advances by testing all reasonable hypotheses against data. The current observations already distinguish three, I Atlas from typical solar system comets. The nickel without iron, the steep volatile increases, the strong carbon dioxide output, and the ecliptic aligned trajectory each represent departures from the norm. Together, they create a profile unlike anything in our comet catalogues. As we approach the October observations, multiple teams prepare their instruments. The months ahead could bring clarity to these mysteries. Whether 3i Atlas proves to be an exotic natural object or something more unusual, the data we gather will inform our understanding of interstellar visitors for years to come. The lesson from Oumuamua drives current preparations. That first interstellar object left us with questions we could not answer because we observed it too briefly. With 3i Atlas, we have time to coordinate observations, test hypotheses, and gather comprehensive data before it continues its journey through interstellar space. Whatever 3i Atlas is, its passage through our solar system provides a rare window into the broader universe. The chemical signatures already detected guarantee this object will reshape our models of what travels between the stars. The coming observations may reveal whether we are witnessing unusual natural phenomena, or encountering something that challenges our assumptions about our cosmic neighborhood.